The Carolina Panthers have fired Ron Rivera. I think it's clear because he has come to embody mediocrity. A few weeks ago, Panthers owner David Tepper said he would not accept mediocrity and suggested he would shake the franchise to its foundation in order to set it on a winning path. Since that time, by the way, the Panthers have lost four straight games, including one of the Falcons and most recently to the Redskins. It's clear that when David Tepper said he will not accept mediocrity, he meant, at least in part, Ron Rivera. That is why he's no longer employed with the Carolina Panthers. What's it mean for Cam? I believe this also means it will be the end of Cam Newton in Carolina. If you're being real about what Cam has been over the last four years, it has been mediocre. Cam has been an average quarterback. He's been league average in almost every statistical metric. Since his MVP season in 2015, Cam Newton has been nothing but average. He's retained this idea. He's retained this shine, this image that he's electric. He's a game changer. He's somebody you have to game plan against. But the output has been average. If Tepper means it, that he won't accept mediocrity, and I think by firing Ron Rivera, we can certainly believe that he means it, I think it would apply to Cam Newton as well. Well, Von Rivera's best player, Cam Newton, has basically been out all season. So is this firing justified? Yeah, this is hard for me. Ron Rivera means something to me. because he's Chicago Bears. My favorite team yeah. of my life, the yeah. 85 Bears. Linebacker. I, I believe number 59, if I'm not mistaken. Ron Rivera has been a really good coach. But when you make the playoffs three times in nine years, and this goes to a justification I had and a conflict I had over Lovey Smith, who I think was about they made the same four number times. of playoffs same year, four in times. years. Four times. Yeah. <sighs> you know, you can say we want to go another direction. Does it mean Ron Rivera is a bad coach? No. Does it mean he shouldn't have another chance somewhere else? No, it doesn't mean that either. He'll get a chance. But, but I – I can see you saying you're disappointed if you're the owner of the Carolina Panthers. Let me tell you what happened, okay? First of all, he's pretty much of a new owner. I think this is his second year. So he owes nothing to Ron Rivera. He didn't hire Ron Rivera. They lost to the Washington Redskins at home. You think that one loss did it? That terrible, stinking Washington Redskins at home. They couldn't get in the end zone in the last four plays of the game. Did I text you and I asked you, do you think this is the end of Ron Rivera? You did. I had when you said text. I was a texting tornado. Yeah. Let's move on <laughs> to the more interesting story. Jay Gruden What's is already out. Ron Rivera is out. I see a lot of guys fired. Let's Shermer, start reading them off. Out. Dan Quinn in Atlanta, out. I think, is out. Matt Patricia in Detroit. No, no Detroit. You think he stays? No, I think he stays. Pat Shermer with the Giants. Probably out. Your boy Adam Gaze with the Jets. Stays. I think he stays. Jason Garrett in Dallas. Out. Does he stay? Out. Doug Marone in Jacksonville. Freddie that. Kitchens in Cleveland. Out. I, I think, Him that, in his t-shirts. I think Vic Fangio could go. You know what this demonstrates, don't you? Because Elway fires people. You know what all people. this does is offer proof go ahead. to me. Because I've been telling you for two years. That coaching coaching in the NFL has never been as bad as it is now. Not in the 50 years I've been watching Will it. Will the Bears get rid of Nagy? No. In the offseason, this would have made... A lot of sense. It really would have. None of us would have been surprised. The reason this is surprising now is because this is David Tepper, the hedge fund billionaire owner of the Panthers, saying to everybody, I care about this team and I am not a patient man. So deserved, eh. But foregone conclusion, at some point, yeah, this was going to happen. This is only surprising if you did not see any of them losing to Washington this weekend. Also like, that. like, them losing to also Washington? That. Yeah, yeah, I got this. You lose it, them losing to Washington on Sunday, that's the sort of game that if it's wobbly for you, gets you fired. We talked about this with Doug Peterson when they lost that game to Miami. They'd won a Super Bowl, so his place is a little sturdy. If he was in the same sort of place that Ron Rivera was in, that would have been enough to get him fired. Now, what we have, and we know this with Carolina, is the time for them to get a whole bunch of stuff figured out. Is Marty Hurst? he going to stay the way the statement came out from the Panthers indicates he just might what are they going to do with Cam Newton right the Newton Rivera thing they came in together it started in 2011 it's been the best run of success that this franchise has had probably the most consistent that they have been throughout all this time I have no idea what the hell they're going to look like next season none this is about us meeting David Tepper though because everything you said all adds up But this is a guy who not only is a hedge fund billionaire, he's a guy who, per the Washington Post, had a revenge mansion bought. A guy at Goldman Sachs, his former boss, 
He bought his old mansion beachfront, $43.5 million. What did David Tepper do? He demolished it. This is about a guy with no mercy and very little patience, yeah, Bo. Is the, is the, I'm not so sold on that part because all kinds of people get fired under these same circumstances, right? He's had this team for a while. If he was just going to come in and clear the whole damn thing out, then Rivera, like you said before, Rivera gets fired at the end of last season. I think he gave it a shot because Rivera really hasn't done anything to quote unquote deserve to get fired. They gave it a run, but after the performance that they put up on Sunday, that's, that gets coaches fired even by patient men. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.